Hey guys, welcome back to the 4x2 Wagon family and today we are on a little venture because we're going somewhere that we have no idea sort of where we're going. Uh, we're trying to get to, it's called the Gold Lake Campground and then we're, our goal is to go from the, the Gold Lake Campground to the Sierra Butte, the fire lookout station. We're going to be looking for the back road that goes from the Gold Lake to the Sierra View Outlook. So hope uh, we can find it. And if we do, it's going to be a great day. Uh, regardless, it's going to be a good day. And I'm going to do my best to give you guys a detailed map and directions on how to get to this trail. I hope that will be helpful for you guys if you guys want to come up here and, you know, do a little exploring and want to try the trail yourself. So I'll try to do my best to capture the video. And I will also put uh, some detailed, just detailed description on how to get here uh, in the descriptions down below and some waypoints. All right, so stick around. Uh, we're about an hour away. Here we go. Turn left. Turn left. Turn left. So this is the Gold Lake Boat Launch Facility. So we made it to the staging area for the, uh, the Gold Lake um, campground. So this is gonna be interesting. We're gonna try and connect the dots with our off-road GPS. And there's a little map here, but the map itself is not really good. Hold on a second, where's the focus? It actually cuts off where we gotta turn off. So the map is just area of this, um, the Gold Lake itself. So let me show you guys the staging area and we'll get going, all right. Okay, so there's the, trail is right there we're gonna go past the gold lake 4x4 campsite and we're gonna head towards the summit lake which is three and a half miles all right so here's the main road that we were just on and we turned off here and we are at the gold lake hov camp area actually we're actually about right here excuse me and we're gonna make our way this way up to gold lake campground which is four by four only or accessible and then we're gonna cut over left to Summit Lake. All right, so let's see how that goes. All right, so we are using my Magellan TRX um, mapping system to find our way up to uh, the campground and then our next destination after that is gonna be Summit Lake. So we're basically uh, connecting the dots as I was saying earlier. And if you guys want to know more about this GPS, uh, leave me comments down below, but I'll, I will also leave a link to the GPS because when you come out here, you either want a, a paper map or a, a dedicated GPS off-road map like this TRX. Okay. Okay, so we're here at the Gold Lake Campground. And there's a lake right there. And it's roughly 1.1 miles from the trailhead. And looks like there's a, a bathroom out here? Hmm. Anyway, it looks like it's a nice campground. Quite a few spots right on the lake. There's a building right there. I'm not sure what that is. But so far, uh, getting to this uh, section of the trail is pretty darn straightforward. Okay, so we are at the end of the campground, looks like, and there's a sign right here that says Summit Lake, one and a half miles. Sweet!
So when you get to Summit Lake, there's a, a fork, a left and a right. And uh, looking at our GPS, it says you can go both ways. The, on the, if you take a right, it says HOV 4x4 trail. Uh, that looks, the map, the trail itself looks a little more defined. And then this one right here, that we, so we took a left, sorry, we took a left on the fork and it looks um, like there's a shortcut. That, by, that, that will bypass about, save you about two miles. So that's what we're gonna do is uh, trying to connect to the main road on this bypass. All right, so we'll keep you guys posted. Okay, so a quick update. Once we got off that little mystery trail, uh, we landed on a main road, looks like. It's all gravel, service road maintained. So that's a reassuring, and we can kind of see, I think the look off to the right around two o'clock uh, once you're on this road. Uh-oh. So again, this is the Magellan TRX. Uh, this is their waterproof off-road, heavy duty, uh, big screen GPS unit. So these uh, folks at Magellan sent this to me a few years back and it's been a pretty handy deal. There's some pros and cons to this map. map. Um, I will maybe talk about that more in a future video. I think, I think the benefit of this map here, system, it far away some of the, it's got a lot of um, negatives, but just that one or two positives kind of outweighs a ton of negatives, if that makes sense, which is usually the other way around. All right, guys. So we finally made it off the trail. Looks like uh, we hit uh, we hit some pavement, and then we came up to a T. And then you can make a right or left. Um, there, this is a highway 93. Is what you're gonna hit. I'm not sure what what. I'm not sure where you go if you make a right. Um, I think somebody told me it's like a 13 mile loop back up to maybe Sierra Butte Lookout. But I'm not sure. I'm gonna explore that some other time. Um, I know there's a split down there, a few miles down the road, where we gotta make a right up to the lookout. So that's where we're gonna be headed. And then we'll come back when we arrive, okay? All right, so back to the map. Uh, this paved road that we're on right now, it's gonna connect to that yellow line. And that yellow line is gonna take us right up to the lookout tower. Oh, here we go, hold on a sec here. Oh, okay, a little turn off, Sierra View Lookout Tower. Oh, right here, here we go. Sierra View Lookout Tower. Okay. Okay, so, it's just a gravel road, and people are parked right here. State Line Road. I hope we can drive. So, quick update. Uh, don't be so quick to air up. Uh, the turnoff from the road that we just aired up from down below on the pavement, it's maybe a quarter mile. Then you make a right onto this uh, Sierra View lookout and it's all gravel. So yeah, it would have been nice to have it, you know, air down a little bit. But oh well, now we know for next time. All right, here we go, Sierra Buttes, or Sierra City. So there's a fork, we're gonna go left. So it looks like this is the parking for the lookout. There's a peace sign right there, okay. But we're gonna work our way up in the Jeep. There's no way I'm gonna walk <laughs> through the snow. Let's see how far we can get. All right, so we just uh, all hair down and we're gonna try to make it up the last quarter mile up this hill. So we'll see how it goes.
Right oh yeah. Tyler, you the man, dude. I'm glad you got some. Okay. So, we sort of made it. <laughs> We're not there yet. Look at those stairs. It's like Olive Garden. Endless steps. This looks like something you've seen in movies. Thousand stairs, Dad. Oh, I think it's way more. Uh huh. This is really steep. It's crazy. Okay. All right, guys. We made it to the top of the world. When I say top of the world, this is pretty incredible. Uh, the stair keeps going. See that? But we're not going to go all the way up. We're going to stop right here because I'm exhausted. I can hardly breathe. He's just a little bit um, scared. And these stairs are like really no joke. Okay, look at this. So we decided to go a little further. I think Issa found a little bit of motivation. Oh, yeah, we do. How about you lead the way, boss? Okay. I know. This is incredible. Oh, we're we're so close. Come on, ready? One, two, three. Oh my gosh. Okay. Issa's gonna do the final stretch. Look at those legs and those big kids lung, lungs. Okay, we're coming. Whoa, whoa, it's like a drop off. So all the lookouts are done by camera now. Oh, that's smart. <sighs> oh. Okay, we did it. We did it. Oh my gosh. Look, you can look down and see the edge. Stove, kitchen. Hey, Lisa, stay close with me. These stickers used to have something mounted in the middle of the thing. Okay. And they would look, and if they saw smoke. Oh. You would know. You would know if you look from the center of the building. How to report. How far. Okay. Oh. That makes sense. Oh. the staircase right over there. Oh. Look at this rock. Dude. Okay. Oh. And that's a trail that we just came up on. It's just incredible. 8,590 Uh-huh, come on. Uh, this goes all the way around, okay? Oh. Woo, what a long day. So what I was trying to say at the top of the um, tower, but we got so cold, we came down, is that if you guys are wanting to come up here for a day, it's definitely a good day trip. Uh, especially like right now, we, get, we ran into a ton of snow, as you guys saw in the video. Uh, quite a bit of other obstacles, but um, yeah, I would really, consider doing the gold leg to the Sierra Butte tower combo. That really made it a really cool day. Only because you weren't really sure, or I wasn't really sure where we're gonna end up uh, as we went through the Gold Lake Trail because I didn't know what was closed or maybe it was snowed in. I mean, who knows? So that's always, you know, like if you don't know what's going on in that area, that's always the worst, not the worst fear, but that's a concern. <clears throat> it would have been a real bummer having to uh, backtrack out of there and then come up the long way. But it was a really good day and I had a really good time willing with these guys. Our group um, is amazing. Um, but anyways, you know, had a great time. If you guys have any questions about how to get here to uh, the Gold Lake to Sierra Butte, um, shoot me a link. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna post a file on my social media, on my Facebook. So if you guys want that GPX file, go out to my Facebook, Brian Plago, look me up and you can grab that file anytime you like. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys next time and be safe out there in the COVID world. God bless.